Hello, my name is Stephen Gritt and we're in the conservation studios at the National Gallery of Canada. Behind me, in a sort of rack-like structure, is a large panel painting painted by the Belgian painter Michel Coxie in the 1550s. It was donated to the gallery in 1958 and at that time it was in pieces and since 1958 it has been in one of the several storages at the National Gallery of Canada until a few months ago when we pulled it out of storage because it was time uh, to get the panels joined back together again. So it's a large painting so it's a lot of work um, to get the panels back together again because it's not just the structural work, we have to do some surface work before we engage on the structural works just so we know exactly what's going on. So we worked with a small team of interns and staff um, and it was a good fun collaborative venture and actually as it turns out it's probably the biggest panel mend that's been done in Canada for a long time. It's certainly the largest that the National Gallery of Canada has ever done. The first stage of the treatment was the removal of probably a century and a half of black surface dirt, particulate matter, that had accumulated on the surface from uh, uh, smoke um, and air airborne pollution, dust and dirt. Second stage is the removal of the dirty yellow varnish that had been applied by restorers 200 years ago, we don't know, and a good amount of overpaint that was covering up some of the damage to the surface. So here's one of the team looking down the microscope during a phase of the cleaning. And what you can see is what, what she's seeing. This is her swab, and she's rolling her swab gently to pick up that red overpaint, which is some non-original material covering the uh, original abraded paint, carefully done under the scope. And there you go. It's clean. The rack that you see the painting in today is in fact part of the panel mending table that we built specifically to get the planks together and to join them. We've just cut the legs off and flipped it upright with a few more restraints to allow us to examine the painting. So here's the rig we used to join the panels. Um, it's really simple, simple technology, just hand pressure and wood. The first stage of the joining was to get uh, this white, the very thin adhesive, into one of the splits that hadn't gone all the way through the panel. So here you can see one of the team feeding the adhesive in to the split that's protected with a, with a varnish layer right by, beside it. The, real, the main adhesive that we used was this horrible material, a, a bulked epoxy paste, which has great mechanical properties. It matches uh, the strength of, of, of oak, oddly enough, and it fills gaps. And so here, here's the, the planks after the adhesive is applied being put into the rig. And you can see there we use, we're using a, a bungee cord, basically, for constant lateral pressure. And it, it's a really neat system. It's so simple, and it applies an even seven pounds of pressure per point, which is really low for this sort of activity. And it just squeezes the panels together enough that you get this effect, which we call squeeze out for obvious reasons. And it means that we've got a good join. So the next stage of the treatment is to get the painting out of this rack and put it in a frame that provides similar support so that um, there's no risk of any structural damage in the future. Um, in that frame, which will be really a working frame, we'll carry on treating the painting because we'll, we'll have access to the surface because this, th this wood will be, will be gone and we'll carry on the treatment, we'll finish the restoration and then we'll see where we are then.